I started teaching at community college, at Capital Community College in Hartford. I was also at Goodwin College uh, in East Hartford, and I taught in their pre-nursing programs. And at Capital, I was teaching uh, first-year biology and uh, anatomy and physiology to, to the second-year students. And, um, you know, I was at a department meeting, and I learned, um, you know, you take a class of 100 students going into the pre-nursing program, and, and after the first year, on average, 40 of them, um, 40 of them are able to take anatomy and physiology, the, the second year classes. And on average, out of those 40, 24 qualify for the pre-nursing program. So you start off with 100 students, and you end up with 24 by the end of two years. <laughs> That's a problem, right? Yeah, it's a problem. What happens to the other 76 students? That's what I wanted to know. And not only that, I wanted to make a difference. So I became a high school teacher. My first year at Career High School, I encountered uh, a lot of different students. One of them, a few stuck out, but one of them in particular, um, this, uh, this kid, um, he would come to school and um, you know, he would have frosting for breakfast. Uh, sometimes he would have Doritos. Anyway, uh, and not just like some frosting, like you know, like a like a pint, like Betty Crocker frosting, um, you, know, you know, with a spoon. I had an apple. I gave him my apple, and uh, you know, he dipped it in the frosting. <laughs> Later that year, that same kid. Um, he, he beat up another kid, not even close to his size, and, um, you know, we understand that uh, he, he joined a gang, and that uh, beating up the kid was his way to join the gang. So, so that was, that was disappointing, to say the least, you know, just, you know, here I am trying to make an impact, and, you know, there's a lot of things that, uh, you know, you just uh, are really hard to deal with. Since I've been in New Haven, three people have really stuck out for me. Um, Jack, Bob, and Christine, they've, they've been instrumental. They, uh, you know, not only because they are leaders and we share common goals, but they've, they've been helping me in so many ways. They treat me like an insider. They respect me. You know, we're all working together. We're all working to improve outcomes for our students. And it's just so great to work with uh, hardworking folks who don't compromise, and I look up to them. I feel like Sisyphus. In Greek mythology, there's this character named Sisyphus who's condemned to roll this stone up a hill, and it's a huge stone, and as Sisyphus gets to the top of the hill, he falls apart and the stone rolls all the way back down and he's got to do it over and over again. He never gets it over the top of the hill. And, you know, I feel like uh, that's, that's, what, that's what we face. There's so many things that we're, we're trying to address. And the only way we're going to do it better is if we work together. And not just as a school, but with our community partners. And so, me, as a leader... I want to help that, right? I want to work with people, be their coach, and treat them with the love and respect that they deserve, but at the end of the day, get them to collaborate, not only within our schools, but outside. You know, we got a lot of issues to contend with, and we need the whole community involved. That's what I've been doing, and that's what I'm going to continue to do, and that's what I hope that people will sign on for.